This video is about how to recover Windows 10 password for a computer or laptop. Losing a password to your Windows 10 user account can become a very unpleasant surprise. It means you have lost access to all data stored on a specific computer. It is good if you know the password to administrator's account. This account lets you manage passwords set by users of a specific computer. However, sometimes it can also be lost or forgotten. Here is the first method. To recover administrator's account password, you need to enter Windows Restore environment. You can do it with the help of a recovery disk, a boot disk, or a, U or a boot USB drive. I focused on these methods in my previous videos. In the Restore environment, click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. To begin with, we need to know the system disk letter, because it can be other than C. Enter the command disk part and then list volume to see which letter indicates the system disk. In my case, this is disk C. Type in exit and the following command. Move C Windows System32 Utilman exam C Windows System32 Utilman2 Exam. Press Enter and follow it with this command. Copy C Windows System32 CMD Exam C Windows System32 Utilman exam. Press Enter, and you will see a report saying that one file was copied. Close the command prompt and boot Windows 10 from the hard disk. After that, you can start the command prompt in the blocking screen by clicking on Ease of Access. Enter Net Users. in the command prompt to see the list of all users. In my case, the username for which the password needs to be reset is Andre. Now enter the command net users Andre. And the new password. Let it be test123. Press Enter to see a report saying that the command was performed successfully. After that, close the command prompt and enter the account with a new password. In order to restore system files to their original condition, that is, to get ease of access booting instead of the command prompt, start the command prompt in the restore environment as it is shown above. Now check the system disk letter with the command disk part and list volume. In my case, the system disk is C again. Enter exit and the following commands Dell C Windows System32 Utilman exam, press Enter, and move C Windows System 32 Utilman 2 exam 
C, Windows, System32, Utilman Exam. Press Enter, close the command prompt and boot Windows 10 in a normal mode. Here is the second method. As well as in the first method, you need to end the Windows 10 Restore environment and start the command prompt. Type Ragedit in the command prompt and press Enter. Then select the section HK Local Machine and click Load Hive in the tab file. Go to this computer, Local Disk C, System32, Config, click on the file system and click Open. Enter any name, for example Test, and click OK. Now click the Hive test. In this Hive look for Setup section. Right-click on CMD line and click Modify. In the line value Enter CMD exam and click OK. Then right-click on the file setup type and click Modify. In the line value Enter 2 and click OK. Now click the Hive test and select Unload Hive in the tab file. Confirm unloading Hive, close the registry editor and the command prompt, and click on Continue, Login and use Windows 10. When the system boots, the command prompt will open. Enter the command Net Users, then the user account name, in my case it is Andre and enter the new password. Let it be test123. We can see that the command has been performed successfully. Enter exit and log in the user account with the new password. System files will go back to the original condition automatically. And they don't have to be changed back as we did in the first method. If you have access to any user with administrator rights, you can reset passwords for all other users with the means of Windows 10. To do it, log in as administrator, open control panel, user accounts, manage another account. Specify the account and the password to which should be modified for example, test. Select the function change password, enter the necessary password, for example, test123, confirm the password, enter the prompt, and click change password. When you do it, Test will lose all EFS encrypted files, personal certificates, and passwords saved for websites and network resources. After that, you will be able to log in in the necessary user account with a new password. You can also recover passwords at Microsoft website. This information is given in detail in the article, the link to which you can see in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video will be useful for you. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more.